first we need to set up the problem from the words. Here we have a committee and choosing subcommittee. We're given that both there's both men and women in the subcommittee. We want to find the probability that this committee this subcommittee is two men and one woman. So essentially is asking the probability of two men and one woman given both men and women. Again, as all other pro conditional probability questions, and when you think about nothing but top but left intersect right, divided by probability on the right. Do we need to look at both men and women? How do we find the probability for this? First, again, we need to identify the type of probability problems. We're choosing a subcommittee, and since the subcommittee doesn't have any particular roles or tasks, it's essentially saying it doesn't matter the order of which these people are chosen. And also, one person's chosen, he can't fill two spots, of course, we're choosing three people. So this is without replacement, which makes this, you guessed it, a combination. Here, this is a multi-scenario combination problem. So to have both men and women, there are two ways to think about it. You can think that there are two possibilities, which is two men and one woman, or two women and one man. That would be both men and women. The other way to think about it is that it's not three men, zero women, and it's not zero men, three women. Here we could use the complements for it, but this is actually a little bit easier to not use the complement and just straight up get the probability for these. If you aren't familiar with what I'm doing here, go back to 2.3 and visit the multi-scenario combination problem. So here I'm just going to figure out both men and women from these two scenarios. Again these are probabilities so we have to do number of elements over the sample space. The number of elements for two men and one woman, again we already established we're using combination. Two men and one woman so we will multiply six men to choose from, we're choosing two, so this is the two men, and we multiply and one woman, seven choose one, seven women, and we're choosing one woman, so this is two men and one woman. We're going to do that over the sample space, which is we have 13 people to choose from, and we are going to be choosing three. This is multi-scenario, so we're going to add this is two men, one woman, or two women would be seven choose two, one man would be six choose one. So here this is effectively two men and one woman, or two women and one man. Now the top part, when you see this intersection sign, you should think and. So this read two men and one woman, and both man and woman. So what does this mean? Well, if you if you think about it, both man and woman, and two men and one woman. What do they have in common? Well, two men and one woman is a committee that have both man and woman. So in this situation, we can effectively ignore the second part. And you can't always do that, but in this case you can. Because you can see, two men and one woman is a subset to both men and woman. Because two men and woman does have both men and woman. So we can disregard the second part. We can just focus on f f 
finding this part. And this part is nothing but just the same thing here. Six men, choose two. Seven women, choose one. Over thirteen, choose three. Here, thirteen choose three can be cancelled out. And again, I encourage you to still write down this thirteen choose three, because we're finding probabilities. And even though they cancel out most of the time, they don't sometimes. So it's safer to write it. Here, we have six choose two is fifteen. Seven choose one is seven. And then here again, fifteen times seven. Plus. 7 choose 2 is going to be 21 times 6. Here you can just punch it in the calculator. I don't have a calculator handy, so I'm not going to do it. But here's your final answer.